Hello, welcome to the section of uh, the Calculus One Extra Practice with Integration Tutor. Uh, here we're going to work a couple of extra problems with trig integrals or integrals involving trigonometric functions. So let's just get some practice here and say that what if you had the definite integral from pi over 4 up to pi over 2 of the following function, negative 7 times the sine of x uh, plus 3 times the cosine of x dx, and we would like to integrate this. So it's a definite integral, so let's tackle this part of the uh, function first, and then we'll do this one. So what we're going to have as an answer is negative 7. What is the integral of sine? We look at the integral of sine, it's negative cosine. So let's put a parenthesis here and say negative cosine of x, right? Plus, here we have a 3, so that's going to stay there. What is the integral of cosine? Integral of cosine is sine. So we're going to have sine of x, all right? Now we don't need a constant of integration because this is a definite integral evaluated from pi over 4 to pi over 2. Now just to make it clear, let's go ahead and just simplify this a little bit. 7, so this is a positive number, 7 cosine of x. We will remove the parentheses just to make it clear. So we have this, now we're evaluating from pi over 4 to pi over 2. Two. So let's go ahead and switch colors. And again, you know, I use brackets a lot when I evaluate my integral. So let's draw a big bracket and let's not do too many things at a time. So cosine of the top limit of integration, pi over 2. I realize that you could evaluate some of these as you go, but I really like to write it down because it really shows your thought process. And if you make a mistake, which you know you will eventually, then you know what you've done wrong. So this is evaluating the function at the top limit of integration. So now we're going to evaluate the function at the bottom limit. 7 cosine of pi by 4 plus, from this sign right here, uh, 3 times the sine, again, of pi over 4. All right, so we have bracket minus bracket. So it's clear at a glance that this is the top limit of integration. This is the bottom limit of integration, like that. So we'll switch colors. And let's see what happens here. Uh, so inside the bracket, we have 7 cosine of pi over 2. If you think back to your unit circle, pi over 2 is up here. So the cosine of that is just 0 plus 3 times. What is the sine of pi over 2? Well, that's up there. Sine of pi over 2 is 1. All right. And then inside this bracket, uh, we have the 7 from here. What is the cosine of pi over 4? You should remember that is the famous square root of 2 over 2 plus 3 times the sine of pi over 4 is also square root of 2 over 2. All right? So what we have here, uh, we get a big fat 0 here, but this is a positive 3. So what we really have is 3 minus this guy. When you multiply that in, it's just going to be 7 times the square root of 2 over 2. This minus sign goes into there, giving you a negative 3 times the square root of 2 over 2. So that's what we get for those guys. Let me switch colors here. Now, what you really have here, you have a common denominator already. So really, there's nothing much to do here. 3, and then you have minus, minus 7, minus 3 more, because this is all common terms here. You have a common denominator of 2, so that's going to stay on the bottom. On the top, you have 7 times the square root of 2. Here you have 3 times the square root of 2. Negative, negative, so what you're going to get is negative 10 times the square root of 2. So we have a negative because they're both negative 10 times the square root of 2. Of course, the 2 is on the bottom because it's a fraction. And because now we have 10 divided by 2, the 